Hello guys and welcome to today's vlog. This vlog is going to be a bit different because I'm actually going to be trying on all of my old like formal dresses, like things I've worn to school dinners and being a bridesmaid and things like that. Truth is I have two other videos that I'm currently working on and I'm just not ready to put out yet. But I was actually planning on doing this anyway because when I did my wardrobe video they were hanging in my closet. I'm like I really should just get them out and like try them on and just like have a throwback. And I thought, why not film it? And I just thought, why not do it today? So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to set you guys up on the tripod and I'm going to try on all of my dresses. I've got them hanging up there, but I don't want to spoil it. Obviously, I am not going to fit into all of these dresses because one of them I wore when I was 16 and I'm now 25. So it's almost 10 years ago. And there's another one, which is when I got it out, I was like... I fit into that like what the hell like I think when I wore it it was even too small but anyway all of that aside I'm just gonna have some fun playing dress up and these dresses I'm never going to get rid of um, because they were part of like special events in my life and I also think it's fun for like maybe one day when I have a daughter or even my sister's kids to just play dress up in them and look back at what like you used to wear when you were doing formal stuff um, so anyway, I'm going to get you guys set up and I'm going to get started with the first dress. <laughs> Alright, so I'm kind of going to start in chronological order. Now, let me warn you, this is from 2010. I was trying to be different. So I wore this dress to my grade 10 leavers dinner. So in Tasmania, I don't even think they do this on, in the rest of Australia. We used to, currently still do, unsure, um, have high school, which is year seven to year 10, and then we move schools and go to year 11 and 12 at college. So I wore this to my grade 10 leavers dinner. I wanted to be bright and different. I know this is not gonna fit me because I have tried it on previously, but um, I'm gonna try. <laughs> All right, so the top is definitely like, no way. It's like my rib cage has grown. Is that possible? I haven't had any kids. I'll try not to flush you. Yeah, it's just like a... I wore this with like gloves and like my hair was all up here and a big updo. Oh my god. Mems. The mems. But yeah. What do you guys think? This 16 year old Rebecca wore this to her grade 10 livers dinner. I love the feeling of it though. This is the one thing I love about this dress still is the feeling of it. Like it's so light and flowy. I've got the mirror behind you guys and I'm just like, oh, yes. I don't think I'll ever fit into this again because obviously I was 16 years old. So in college, which is year 11 and 12, we had a ball each year, which is a lot less formal than your leavers dinner. Um, and yeah, I went both years. So I'll show you the dresses. And the one I wore to year 12, I know I will 100% not fit into. <laughs> Okay, so this was my year 11 ball dress. I still like it. I'm like, it's it's stretchy, so it still fits me. I just, I still like it. When I wore it, I wore it with like, like bright blue heels and like a clutch that had like bright blue on, on it and it was bright blue black. So, and then I think I actually wore earrings with bright blue feathers on them. So, you know, it was during that stage of life. But honestly, it's still really cute. Like, out of all of these dresses, this is the only one I would probably potentially still wear. Like, what do you guys think? Like, it's off the shoulder, it's really flowy, it's not really stylish, but it's like, I don't know, it's cute. So the dress I wore to my year 12 ball is very, very small. I bought it off ASOS and I still think it's so beautiful, but it was even really tight on me when I wore it. Like my boobs were like, hello, and they were smaller than they are now. So this is the dress. It is beautiful. So it's just like this little off white number and it's just got beading and sequins all over the front, kind of like a Gatsby Insta inspired kind of look. I think the back is just all plain. I've got it on but it is not sipped up at all. So let's see if we can. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Wait, does this fit me? <laughs> it's so short, holy shit. Okay, I can't do that up myself, but it, I can do it up. That's incredible. Wow. Okay, this is so short, but. <sighs> Mate, I am feeling it. Would I ever 
wear this again? Maybe. Can we just, <laughs> it's a vibe. What do you guys think? I bought this off ASOS and I think it was only like 60 bucks or something. And I wore it with, I remember, I wore it with um, heels from ASOS also. They were like patent black, skinny heels, skinny strap, like the really minimal heels. And then I had a thrifted black patent clutch that I wore with it. And I kept everything very simple. It's so see-through. Can you see my butt? Oh my God. What do you guys think? I think the bowl looks dresses are the winners here. Because the next two dresses I have are bridesmaids dresses, so I obviously didn't pick them. <sighs> Mate, I am feeling myself. Like, full on. Ugh. All right, next dress is, I've been in three weddings, like in them. First one was my brother's and I was actually a groomed woman, so I wore a suit. So the only thing I have left over from that is my tie, which is purple, so I'm not gonna show you that. But the other two weddings, I was a bridesmaid, so I have dresses. Both of which are filthy. I really need to get them dry cleaned, but I'm gonna show you anyway. So I was in my cousin's wedding and um, there was three of us, I think, and we all wore these orange dresses. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking outside. So they're these orange dresses. They're off the shoulder, they're long. I think she got these made, like one of them online things where you put in all your measurements and they make them. All right, so this is my first bridesmaid's dress. It's so stained. Wow, that's so bad. Um, but yeah, it's orange. I think orange is a really flattering color on my skin when I'm like my natural tan, which is in summer, which is when the wedding was, that's lucky. Um, but yeah, it still fits me perfectly. Like, it's the perfect length for when I'm wearing heels. It fits me perfectly around here. It's comfortable. Um, yeah, it's not, you know, I don't hate it. It's not. Like, it's not what I would pick. It was my cousin's wedding, so if she, that's what she wanted us to wear and I think it looked okay. We had our hair like in a low bun to like the side. There was three of us. I was the middle one. <laughs> yeah, it still fits me perfectly. Really need to get it dry cleaned. I think I just changed the camera by accident. Oh well. So the next dress and the last bridesmaid and last of the formal dresses um, is one you cannot see because it's one of them ones that is like a wrap like eight different ways or something dress. I wore these to one of my best friend's weddings um, with like a flower crown and like curls and it was everything she dreamed. Um, so yeah, it's again, so dirty. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put this on the way we wore it. Honestly, I can't even remember if I can remember how to do that. I don't think I did it. I think someone did it for me. But anyway, I'm gonna go try and put this on. Don't judge me for this. I have no idea how to put this together. I think um, my friend's mum put it on for me. But it's like this bright coral pink one. It's like I said, it's one of the ones that you can put on like heaps of different ways. I have had to put on my strapless bra for this, but yeah, I think she, we had it like this. It was like twisted and then twisted at the back and then like wrapped and tied. I don't know, it was something like that. And we had like a slip underneath and our hair was just out and curled, but this is what it was. It's very girly and not like this is not this is not something that I would ever wear, but it was one of my best friend's weddings and it's honestly, it's not bad. It's just, I don't usually wear girly shaped things. So yeah, this was what we wore. It was very comfortable. I felt like a fairy when I wore this cause I had like a flower crown and stuff. So the, I do have a couple more dresses I thought I might try on. Um, they're not like formal, but they are ones that I've worn to certain events. So I thought, why not? So I've got this little fold over one, which I wore to one of Brett's friend's weddings. I've got this white linen-y one, which I wore to my friend's hen's, this, this friend's wedding's hen's day. And then the most recent dress that I have is this one from Princess Polly, which is beautiful and my color. And I wore this to my mum's 60th and I cannot wait to wear it again because I think it's absolutely stunning. I wore this dress to one of Brett's friend's weddings. It's, I was very, very skinny when I wore this and I still love it. I think it's so beautiful. Um, it's like a linen dress. The edges are all rough. It's very short because it's kind of, you know, sticking around these areas. I would love to wear this dress again. I love this and this. This is like really stiff. I love the tie. I think it's amazing. I would love to wear this again, maybe when I lose a bit more weight and it's like a bit longer. I just, I love this dress. <laughs> All right, this dress is the same kind of style with the linen raw edge wrap over. It was when that was a big thing. 
Um, so if you can see this bit, it's a bit see-through, but this still fits me pretty well. Um, again, very short, but you know what? I would wear this again, 100%. Maybe, you know, if I wore different underwear so that it didn't stick, but this part is really good for hiding like a food belly, which is honestly a good, a good thing. So I love this. I do need to clean this. Maybe I'll figure out how to clean it whilst we're in ISO, but I think this is so cute. Okay, moving on to the very last dress. So this is the last dress and I actually bought this late 2019, so it's pretty recent. Um, I love it. I love the color. It's, I love the shape. Like I love the frills here, but it's stretchy here and I love the sleeves and the tie. I just think it's really beautiful. Um, I would love to be able to wear this again soon. Uh, well, not soon, because we're going into winter, but next summer. I love this dress. I love this color. All right, so I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you very much for watching and taking a trip down memory lane with me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing me try on all of my previous formal dresses. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you like any of them and would still wear them today or anything like that. <laughs> I don't really know. This video was more just for me because I was going to do all this try on stuff anyway. So I thought, why not film it? If you want to check out my Instagram, that is just at Beck Eldrip and I will see you guys in the next one.